Hello ladies and gentlemen, JD Collectible and I am back with a brand new video and um, today we're going to be looking at the Macho Man Randy Savage Series 126 figure and I am actually on my lunch break at work. I was in my car and I was like thinking I don't really have a lot to do in the terms of running errands today so I was like no better time than to just do a video and I've had this figure in my car because I was going to do a video of it at some point this week but I figured this is the best time. It's not too hot out here in my car so so, hey, I figured let's get it out the way right now. And um, hopefully you all don't hear. I have my windows down, so hopefully you don't hear too many cars. Um, there are cars going by, but I don't think it should be too distracting. But again, I'm just going to be a very simple, quick look at the um, this Series 126 Macho Man. Uh, this figure caught my attention because it is very rare that we get a Macho Man figure in the main line, whether that be Elites or um, or, you know, the basic series. I believe the last Macho Man figures that I recall seeing in stores were the, um, well, uh, let me take a little thing back, Ultimate Edition. But as far as really the mainline figure, the mainline series, um, it's very rare that we get a Macho Man figure. And I have never seen this attire before, so it made it even the more, um, you know, more of a must-own figure for me um, we're just gonna take a look at the back of it we see macho man we see his um, signature moves we also see the other wrestlers in this series Seth Rollins Drew McIntyre Bobby Fish Mandy Rose and I actually if you watched my video earlier this week I did the Bobby Fish um, unboxing along with the Kyle O'Reilly unboxing um, earlier this week so definitely check that video out if you have not done so yet and um, and also too got this figure from Nerd Bombers. Nerd Bombers as uh, you've heard me mention in a lot of my videos lately that is my new go-to uh, store for wrestling figures. I really am, have um, kind of let Walmart and Target fall by the wayside. Um, Nerd Bombers they're a local uh, store here in Greensboro North Carolina and actually this is their uh, sticker one of their stickers when you go in there you can get a little sticker as you leave out and this is their business card so if you are ever in the Greensboro area and they need a wrestling figures you definitely need to stop by Nerd Bombers uh, this is their address I'm gonna include it in the um, see if I include it in the um, description of the video so pretty much a lot of my wrestling figures going forward will will be from Nerd Bombers and they also have a cool deal you can buy 10 pops and it also goes for the figures as well you get 10 figures every time you come in they mark your card off and you can get a free figure uh, um, I believe with the figures it's to a $20 value which is around the price of all the figures I get from there for the most part with the exception of the basics those are like around 10 bucks so um, a little more than 10 but in any case uh, guys shout out Nerd Bombers as much as I can and let's get into this and of course, I don't need to say anything about Macho Man. I mean, one of the most iconic, legendary performers in professional wrestling history. Um, and, and like you said, I the you know, funny thing with this figure is that I had searched for a while, months actually, at uh, Walmart's, Target's. Um, never found, you know, never saw it. And then I, my first time actually going to Nerd Bombers, I look to the, I go into the store, look to the right, and this is one of the first things that I see. So, again, always got to get a, you know, whenever I have a chance to get a Macho Man figure, especially the basics, I really, really like these Macho Man basic figures, um, basic figures, period. But this, I just really like it. So, um, as you see, we got the blue trunks with the three stars on the front. Very good hand, head scan of Macho Man. I mean, that looks like him to a T. Then this is Macho Man style from, I would say, this is his late 80s style. Um, back when he was wearing the trunks before he started wearing, the, you know, the long tights. Uh, we have the blue knee pads and kind of the white, I guess, athletic tape underneath. The signature yellow boots with, you have two stars on the side of them. And on the back, you got the Macho Man the logo with the two stars to the side. And just a, just a good, solid figure. And again, not a lot of bells and whistles. You know, this isn't the Ultimate Edition, a Legend series. But just a solid, good figure of one of the all-time greats. And, you know, and another thing, and actually, I take back what I said. They actually had a, um, there was a figure that came out, I believe, within the last year. It was a special WrestleMania basic edition figure of macho man it was it came in uh the wrestlemania it was modeled after wrestlemania 3 attire and it came with the miniature ring and there was an andre the giant figure that came out in that series as well i got the andre but never got the macho man so 
Um, but again, like I said, great figure, just a, you know, love it, great feel in the hands. And again, just, um, you know, one of the all time greats, Macho Man. And one thing, too, I want to say before I get off of here is that Macho Man, a lot of times when people think back of, you know, the you know, late 80s and through the 90s and WWE, when you think of the best performers, and usually the names that come to the top of your mind are Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. But Macho Man was just as good in the ring as those guys. I mean, really, when it comes to late 80s through 90s WWE, I think the top guys in the ring were Macho Man, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Mr. Perfect, um, you know, Ricky Steamboat, too. When you factor in the 80s, I mean, you know, this is, you know, just but incredible performer, though. One of the all time greats. And like you said, Macho Man's legacy is going to be felt in wrestling for generations and generations to come. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this break before I get back to work. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I will talk to you again after a while.